hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel ah guys it's been a long time it's been the longest time hmm i've been away from youtube for how many months now hey if not up to three months so. hmm. oh guys there's a lot of g's this day bracketed for you guys like a lot of things has been going on a lot and a lot of things like in the past few months mm -mm, my life has really really changed so in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys why i've been away from youtube and i'll be sharing some really really vital information with you guys that is going to be beneficial like mm -mm, you're going to benefit from it you're going to benefit a lot like a lot so be ready for the real dates the real deal they be ready for the real deal you're going to benefit from this information i'm going to be sharing with you guys so guys keep watching do not go anywhere So guys if you are new to this channel like if you are seeing this channel for the first time my name is Oluwake Mishukbe Som I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based here in Nigeria yeah yeah <laughs> I create content around family life parenting motherhood marriage faith and you know just lifestyle in general anything that will be beneficial to you anything that will interest you and just my daily life you know the big girl doing her own thing in her own world so if this is the kind of content you like to see be sure to click on the subscribe so guys What's like it? i said i've been away from youtube for a while for months and this is because of a very important decision i took earlier this year last year late last year i made a very important decision which has changed my life like huh. guys i'm no longer the same person you used to know <laughs> so guys i'm no longer the person you used to know like i've changed a lot has changed in my life hmm. from this video so you can see i'm radiating more like calm <laughs> more fine but <laughs> so guys um okay let us dive right into the video into the details i've been away from youtube because i took some professional courses courses no i took i had to undergo a very a professional course a digital marketing course and guys my life has never remained the same you see i've always wanted to go into the tech thing like be a tech person you know the world is becoming digitalized day and day things are changing everybody every business is online so it's something i've always wanted to do but hmm, guys the money is not small it's not small to so you will see something saying 300k this one saying 200k you know you're not even sure if um yeah you are going to be, like if it's going to be a detailed stuff so i'll be kind of reserved but then it's always been on my mind especially since um I recently moved to where I am today. I used to be in Lagos, but you know, life happens. I had to, I had to be where I am today in Kogi State, Lokoja. So it's not been easy. Things has not been easy at all. Like getting a job here, it's, it's not beans, you know. And I'm the kind of person that hmm, I'm used to. I like money. Hmm. Uh, that evil blood in me is always like <laughs> I like making money. I like having my own money, you know. I like. You no know, that's i like soft life oh, but you know that kind of independence that you, you know the kind of independence you get from having your own cash now you know so it's really it's really not been easy i already made a video on this is a, a, a like a separate video on this earlier but guys i was not feeling the video at all i was not feeling it i was not feeling it, so i just didn't even bother editing and that's been it so today i'm going to be you know I'm not just be talking about what has changed in my life so far i'm going to you know have a kind of gist with you guys too you know pertaining a particular topic that you know has really been so i, I i'm very sure you learn from from the two topics i'm going to be sharing with you today 
So like I was saying, I've always wanted to be to go into the tech world, you know, be a tech techie mama and all that, but it's not been I've not been able to do it. So one day I was on Facebook or Instagram, I guess, I think both, and I saw an ad and had just popped up like that if you want to are you interested in being a digital marketer and you don't have the funds, blah blah blah. Are you a woman between so 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 age and so so age? And you really want to do you really want to go into you really want to be a digital marketer but you don't have the funds like so this the ad is like they are they there is an option for you as a woman this is only available for women there's an option for you to you know take this course it's, it is a detailed course like really really detailed it's a detailed course you take the course for three months and then you will not pay immediately you have the option to pay after securing a job <laughs> guys do you know what this means <laughs> like they are so confident like you get a job won't be it that you get a job like this is a cause it's it's a, it's, it's a cause that is really really in high demand so you have the option to pay on t- after you, you know secure a job and even after securing a job you're not have to pay at once you know you can pay in installment like a particular percentage from the salary you're getting and i was like wow this is a dream come true for me like this is what i've always wanted like perfect so i had to i think I, I applied for the course last year i applied for the course last year and um last year december so as if you know it was not last year december i think i saw the had earlier in october then i tried applying at a point i couldn't go ahead with the application because oh guys so it's not easy like so just as if i was writing cambridge exam like i'm not even exaggerating so so it was not easy at all like hey two days i was still on this application then i had some other things i was doing then so i had to just drop it then in december again i saw the same hard for another cohort so i was like hey girl don't miss this opportunity so i took it i applied and then i waited and waited and waited and waited for them to you know select there were so many of us and they will not select everybody obviously so they selected the those of us that you know made it through the application and then the course started in january 10th so that's what i've been up to like it's been really detailed like the last three months of my life like the past few months of my life has been so intense you know i know I've, i have no excuse like i could still you know drop in a video or two ones in a while but guys I, I just couldn't cope i tried i think my last video the last video i posted i had already started the course then but I, I tried to make other videos. This wasn't easy, ah, guys. Easy. Like I tried. I will, there was no time. I had no time on my hands at all. There was no way I was going to. <clears throat> so this is what happened. I just had to let YouTube rest for a while. You know, YouTube. Just wait. I'm coming back to you. So I just had to let YouTube rest for a while and then continue with the course. The ride was um it was so intense. But thank God, guys. I was able to I was able to finish up with the course and guys your girls are <laughs> your girl like right now I am about to take over <laughs> like you guys are not you are not even ready for <laughs> this is so like from the class I was able to you know create and design my own website like an e-commerce website like a confirm e-commerce website on my own with the help of god obviously I was able to design and you know create develop and and design a website an e-commerce website you know how complex that can be you know I, i'm able to in the course i learned about email marketing content writing social media marketing you know what else a lot a whole lot a whole lot and hmm, guys it's really been it's really been empowering like i feel different i feel empowered i feel i feel more useful i feel i can't even be begin to to tell you guys how i feel so i'm going to be dropping the link to the website the website is a uh, women for digital.com you know 
um i'm going to be dropping the link for those that will be interested if you're a woman between the ages of 18 to i can't really remember but i'll be dropping the website in the description box if you are interested like if you have time on your hands you're a graduate you have time on your hands or a graduate you are true with your nyc please girl and you have time on your hands like you can't be working and doing this you can't do it <laughs> there's no way and you own a laptop if you own a laptop you're busy you're less you're available you're a graduate so true with your nyc you know i'll be dropping the link just apply and if you know somebody that this might help like you have a sister you have a you have an auntie you have a sister you have a girlfriend that i know this might be of help to please like this is a life-changing experience like i can't even begin to tell you guys how this has made me like i've been getting job offers from back to back like i've been getting job offers from guys i can't even begin to tell you guys what has been happening so you go find out for yourself i'll be dropping the link in the description box apply you know putting your best in the application i don't know how it is now because um i learned that um recently the courses have been segmented like you can't learn all the digital courses like we did in our own course now it has been segmented and you will have to choose a particular um, field like you, you choose between being a social media marketer or an email marketer or a web de developer on like in my own course that we did everything like it was everything they 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 discovered that it was so overwhelming like some some of us could not finish a lot of us could not finish not some of us yeah some of us could not finish like they could not finish up with the course you know they had to people had to drop out <laughs> so it's that intense so i guess that was why they segmented it so that um you could actually and it is no longer three months it is now maybe i don't know i don't really know the full details but i'm sure everything is on their websites so if it's something that you're interested in and if you're not, you should know somebody that is interested. Share the link with them. They should apply. And if they get selected, their life don't change with that. So I'm not even exaggerating. So that is that about that. And that is what has been keeping me off from YouTube for this past few months. That's why I've been off. And even after the course, I had to, you know do some assignments you know optimize my profile on linkedin do this and that apply for jobs and recently i joined some freelance um, websites where i get some freelance jobs like fiverr freelance.com you know i'll be dropping i'll be dropping the links to those um websites too on the in the description box if it's something you want to check out like you have any skill you think can fetch you some money you know you're a graphic designer you are a digital marketer you're a content writer your social media manager just name it you know you can something that you can do and hit some money like i've i have been doing i've been having any some uh, money from the site not be much because you know my portfolio is not that rich yet but i've been having some money that's been keeping me going you know so that's what has been happening that's why i've been off youtube for a while so now i am back like never before you guys should be expecting top notch content hmm. every spirit of inconsistency in my life i have dealt with them i'm not joking <laughs> i've dealt with every spirit of inconsistency now i'm back like i never left ready to give you content back to back <laughs> like you guys are not even ready for me we are give like i'm going i'm going i'm going hard this time around i'm ready to give you to my all because you know filming is something i like not like i love i love you know inspiring people i love sharing my thoughts on things and so far it's been helping people so why not come to youtube and help more people you know so that's that's that about that so now guys the second thing i'll be you know discussing here on in this video today I, like i said is um i think it was yesterday i don't know when this video will be held but i did it yesterday as yesterday um the day before i filmed this so i posted something on youtube oh no not on youtube on my whatsapp 
on my whatsapp you know whatsapp has been like a kind of <laughs> it's a place that i'm really really free i'm really comfortable i know everybody checking out my content i don't feel insecure there you know youtube is hard though she people know youtube is really hard like it's hard youtube is not for the faint-hearted like if if you you don't take youtube like if you take youtube as an hobby just something that you do in your free time hmm. i don't see you going fine youtube ha. because it is really hard to be consistent here like unless so many protocols so many things that you have to tiring. but we are here and we are here to stay so i posted something on um, on my whatsapp and i discovered that a lot of people could relate with it like they sent me the end like wow like they enjoyed it they learned a lot from from the write-up and i was like why don't i just come on youtube and and discuss about it and even inspire more people and even help more people you know so what i discussed on the top the the content was about um friendship about friendship being transactional i said in the right of that um any relationship that you find yourself in be it marriage be it dating friendship sibling in fact name it any relationship is transactional like there must be something you're bringing to the table you can't just be a friend to somebody just for the sake of being friends there must be value you must be having value to that person's life you know it's it's good it goes both ways that person must be adding value to your life in one way or the other and you must be adding value to that person's life too you can that is really the essence of relationship that is the essence of friendship believe it or not that is how it was designed it is either you're you're helping the person financially or you're helping the person spiritually or you are there for the person emotionally spiritually name it you must be bringing something to the table and I told a story too. I told a story about um, a friend I had. Not her. She's still my friend. She's still very much my friend. A friend of mine way back in my NC days. That is just say 2011, 20, 2011 to 2014. So this lady didn't have much to give me. She didn't have money to give me. She didn't have material things to give me. But <clears throat> the impact this lady had on my spiritual life guys i cannot it's not something i can forget in a while like for the rest of my life i will continue to, I, I will keep talking about this lady her name is Adi Yori. you know she's oh my god <laughs> like it's been a long time but the impact she had on, in my life is still effective till date i remember Adi Yori, you know she would she would she made me understand the true meaning of fellowshipping with God. Like, it's not just about you going to church, you speaking in tongues. Like, you having a real relationship with God. You being able to call on God anytime. She taught me a lot in this life. Oh. She was a hard-working person. She was a go-getter. She was disciplined. She was, she, she was God-fearing. She worked for God. She respected and loved her husband truly. She was married then so i was really she really she really impacted my life in every area and she, i can't forget her in a bit so um i i remember my lecturer then asked me because um she was not too how do i put it she was not too really like she was struggling academically then so that was where i came in you know and i remember my lecturer then asked me called me and asked why i was being friends with her instead of being friends with some somebody else that was on the same level as i am or even higher you know just to improve myself and i was like sir hmm. you can even notice the academic excellence in me because of this lady she she pushed me to go harder naturally i like comfort i like i don't like so, over stressing myself so far i can get some a's and some b's i'm okay you know but she pushed me to go harder she'll be like my friend i know you are sleeping stand up come over let us pray oh, uh, come over let's read or oh, she's coming to my house you know 
to force me to read. <laughs> she forced me to read, and after reading, we will pray for hours too, you know, just to secure everything into God's hand. And she was just like that, and the few, the, the, the minute she came into my life, I could see, like I experienced a whole academically, my life changed. Spiritually, I was not the same again. So it's just like that, and. She helped my life in so many ways, like I cannot forget her. That is friendship. And I was able and there was another lesson that I learned. There's another story I I told to so I um there's this lady that was my friend when I was in she was my friend when I was in secondary school, you know. I remember um I will not say her name here because I don't know. <laughs> you don't know where this video can go to and all that, but I will not say her name. You know we were friends and i thought we were friends i was still young but i noticed that this lady would find any any little opportunity to talk me down like she was always ready to be in the midst of maybe new set of people that were meeting for the first time and you know being a very lovable person she will, people are always drawn to me like i'm always i make friends easily Immediately, she would, she would just bring up an issue, like an embarrassing situation from my past and say it there and start laughing, you know, just to put me down, you know, just to de-elevate me. Then I didn't understand much. I felt, mm, that's just, maybe that's just how she is. But this thing continued into her daughter. Like, there was another time a friend of hers was getting married. Then we're already grown grown adults so like some of us were already getting married making babies and we went for the events you understand so it, we were there a day before and there were some other ladies there you know we're just vibing up everybody having fun and you know we're just having a good time and you know as usual now people were, people were all around me you know ah came in far far now yeah well, let's exchange numbers now i really like your vibe and all that and before you know it, out of the blues, this lady just brought an brought up an event that happened way back in my childhood, an embarrassing event that I don't even want to remember in my life. And she just said, "Can okay, you remember that time? That so 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 thing happened." <laughs> it was so obvious that <laughs> this was not necessary here, and everybody just looked at her and be like, "So why are you telling us now?" That day she felt embarrassed, but I was just like, so that day I realized that this lady is not my friend, though. She's my enemy. Like, she's my enemy. If she has a chance to kill me, she will kill me. You see, you know, she was, you know, she find if you mistakenly say it in her presence that, ah, this your friend is beautiful, though. eh? Of very war. She will be so, it will be so obvious in her eyes that she's not happy. Like, she's not happy what you said. You know? So I realized that a lot of friends, a lot of us keep friends like this. We see all these traits, all these envious traits in them. From what they say, from how they relate or from how they react to some things we do, you know, from them not being, you know, share, you know, we, we see all these traits and we just ignore. So maybe because like me, once you make a friend, you find it hard to, to let go and start thinking wait 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 am i being too sensitive am i being too no those traits if you are not careful eh, they will grow into full-blown witchcraft like full-blown hatred and they can hurt you so any friendship any friendship any relationship you find yourself in and it's making you like it's making you less of yourself like if you feel less of yourself i don't know what you are still doing in that relationship i don't know what you are doing in that friendship i don't know what you are still doing in that marriage anything any relationship that is making you feel small that is making you feel you are not enough like that is making you feel you are not doing enough you don't have to you don't like i don't know why you are still in that relationship you both should be able to elevate yourselves, you know, please yourself. In emotionally, your friends should be there. The person you call your friend should be there. And even if they are not there, there, mu there must be an area that they are feeling in your life. There must be a value they are adding to your life. It could be financial value, like a friend that you could just call 
call at any time hey babes please i need thank you there and they lend you not people that will have and will still be stingy with you like i used to tell people that it is not about having a rich friend or having a rich boyfriend or having a rich husband it is about having a kind person in your life some time ago i was i was talking to a friend an old friend like that and she was like ah babe these days eh hmm, i've see i've become selfish like any any relationship i'm getting into now i'm getting into it for selfish reasons you must be able to take care of my bills you must be able to take care of my social so siblings you must be able to do this you must be rich you must be wealthy enough to take care of me i was like fine it's good it's good i like i like it i like that i like the fact that um you don't want to go for less but then I, I then explained something to her that it is not about dating a rich guy or marrying a rich husband it's about dating a kind person i've seen some rich husbands they have money but they know they use this money help they know they use this money they know they give their wife money they prefer to spend this money outside they, they prefer to spend money on side chicks outside rather than spending on their wife and family not to talk of helping their wife's family so guys it's not about having a rich friend or having a rich boyfriend or having it's about having a kind person and there are some people in your life that might not have money to give to you like they might not be rich enough to help you financially but they are there for you emotionally they are there for you you know they're there to cheer you up, to encourage you, you know, you know, to make you feel good, to make you feel that you can do a lot of things. Those kind of people, so don't take them for granted. Don't say because I, I called him the last time to to borrow me thank you. I was like, oh, you know, he doesn't he never has money. Maybe he truly doesn't have. But he's there for you in another way. Like he's there for you emotionally, he's there to cheer you on, he's there to he shares ideas with you. Anything he knows that he's going to benefits your life is sharing it with you so what more do you need do you understand and there's something i need you to understand is that um if you want a good friend in your life you must be a good person so how does that sound you can't be a stingy friend you can't be a selfish friend and you expect people to go all the way for you it's not done Go possible, go job. You can't be a bad person and, and expect good people in your life. You are you attract who you are. If you're a good person, even though you might meet some um, bad people, but you still good people will still you still have some good people in your life. That is just how it is. If you're a young lady and you want a God fearing husband, you want a giver, you want a man that will take care of you, you want a man that will that will love you, you want a man that will be faithful. Make sure you are those things first. If not, <laughs> you might meet somebody that will pretend at first, but then, mm -mm. even if that person is good initially, and then the person that realizes that, wow, wow, this person I'm doing all these things for doesn't appreciate it, this person doesn't want it, this person is the opposite, Th they will change. So that is just how life is. Every, every relationship is transactional. Make sure, make sure every individual you are meeting in your life, you are adding value to them. Make sure there's something they'll remember you for. I remember during my service year, I got married um, during my service year and then got pregnant. So I had, um, I had a really, like I was not really strong those period like i had issues with you know i was always falling sick today falling sick tomorrow having cramps here, having cramps this, this that here and i was not staying with my husband i was in a different city i was in a career then so it was far from my parents it was, it was far from where my husband was so i didn't want to stay alone because i would not be able to do a lot of things on my own so i stayed in a female hostel but there was this lady this lady that <laughs> Sandra, I can never forget this babe. This lady was so, oh my God. Anytime I remember my pregnancy journey, I will always remember Sandra. This lady made me feel loved. She made me feel comfortable. And she was older than me. She was more mature than me. She had, no, she had no reason to be kind to me or anything. But she was. 
This lady will go and fetch what before I wake up, Sandra had already fetched buckets of water for me. You understand? Immediately she realized I was pregnant. I was not I was not doing anything again. No. She will go to the market for me. She will go to the market. She's always going to the market. Like ah, babe, don't worry, I'll buy the don't, don't, don't worry, I'll go and buy the pepper for you. I don't like you don't I know you don't like going out in the sun. She doesn't have to do those things. She was not my servant, she was not my sister or anything. But she she impacted my life. You know, so anywhere you find yourself, I can talk about her now. I can, there are other good people. I had Ron Ketu, I had Ron Ketu, I had Sandra, I had uh, Ayola. They were all good. They were nice, you know. They were friendly. They made me feel happy. They were there for me emotionally. I will not lie. Those days, eh, hmm, I prefer staying back in Nakure than coming to my husband. <laughs> I'm not even lying because I will have so much fun. They were there to make me feel happy. They were not negative, you know. They were so they they display so much positive vibes. These are real people. They are nice people. They were they were they didn't have to be all these things to me. So it's not as if I was giving them money or anything or anything. Or I had money to give them, but they they were all these things. Maybe because I was a good person too, but they didn't have to. And they did, you understand. I remember my my roommate too, and in, in my university days in Uniland and uh, Cassie. <laughs> See, eh? from the day I have been born, that's just thought to be me. Since the day I have been born till now, I've never seen anybody as selfless as Cassie. I'm not even exaggerating. This girl. I hope she's still the same thing. She's selfless to the core. She can go all the way, like all the way for anybody. You don't even have to be her friend. So far, you are in her, in her life and you are in her space. She's impacting your life. She's so selfless. She's so... A day to, she was my chief um, bridesmaid. This baby was writing exams. Me that want to get married, I was, I will still be sleeping. This girl is already at a uh, Yaba bus station. Hello, babes, where are you? I'm waiting. No, can ah, mama, at the market. Don't worry, we'll find. Don't worry, we'll still trek. Don't worry, we'll find. I said, babe, I'm already tired. You know, this might seem simple or normal to you, but I appreciate those kind of effort. She doesn't have to be all those things. She doesn't have to. She doesn't. I've seen, I've met people that they are non-child and they don't care. They don't like stressing themselves for anybody. They don't like in, you know, inconveniencing themselves for anybody. They just want to be in their own space, doing their own thing. That is not life. Even if you are not doing all this self there there must be a way you are impacting people. It might be true or what. People are going through a lot. And a kind word from you to somebody might, might change, might make their day. People have suicide, especially now, youths. Youths are going through a lot. So many of them are having suicidal thoughts. And you just meet somebody and you just say trash to them. You don't know what they are going through. Some people will hear those things and go home and commit suicide. It's not even a joke. Words kill. I think I'm going to make another video on that. Your words can kill. Even if you don't have money to give people or you don't have some, you know, just having a kind word, saying kind words to people can change a whole lot of things impact people i remember there was a time i was in school and this lady just came up to me i don't know her i don't know where she she's from i've never seen her she just came up to me oh babes ah sorry ah, you're so beautiful ah, i've never seen ah, ah, me <laughs> it's as if i don't know i'm beautiful though. like dog i know but mm, no coming from another human being and so it's not even a guy so it's not a guy saying this to me. It was a guy, and I'll be like, oh, maybe one slow, you know. But this is a lady, a lady like me. It's very difficult for this to come out and appreciate their fellow woman. Enviness will not allow them. They are wishing, wishing will not allow them. They are always envious. They are always in competition. I don't understand. I, I do not understand. For a fellow woman being, a fellow woman like me coming to me and saying, wow, I love you. I know I love you. You're so tall, and you're so shapey. You're so beautiful. I don't know her. She has never met me. Like those words. I never, I will never forget it. Even to, till today, that there, there are times I'll feel like I'll feel less beautiful. I'll just feel, you know, like wow, I'm getting fat and I'm not this, I'm not that. I'll just remember those words and be like, 
for a fellow woman like me to come and meet me and say those things to me that means i must be really beautiful so even having a kind word i've been saying kind words to people changes a lot you are impacting their life recently a friend of mine took to bed and i went to stay at the hospital so um there's this friend of ours too that i've met on some occasions and you know we talk we have you know, hi 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 but it's been a long time since i saw her last and she was different like she was totally different she had bleached her skin she, said she had bleached her skin you know she now had these um pimples that come as a result of bleaching you know she she had on this um some fake lash and some i don't know she was just looking so i don't know so at first i didn't know that um she was the one so i was just like wait oh, is this a uh, mommy so 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 mommy so 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 like ah, so I, she's the one i said really so i sensed that she was already you know feeling self-conscious because she know what she don't do so i, I immediately came like wow you this woman hey those who want to get old like look at you truly she had a small you know a small frame a small stature like you not even know that um she had a small frame so and she had three children already and she was still looking you know flat on me and all that so i was like so i immediately picked on the positive side of her i was like wow it's so much. you don't want to get hold though look at you looking like an 18 year old wait see we made some beauty for us now just to make her feel good i'm usually like that i like making people feel good everybody around me i always have one compliment to other that to give even sometimes i might have a little bit of flattery but i shall make you feel good so she was like ah really <laughs> thank you abio and the next word that will come out of this woman is <laughs> you're just getting fat <laughs> so people are so funny like somebody appreciating you giving you compliment and the next word that will come out of him are you you are just getting fat you know saying i want picking you see but like really are there people like this <laughs> eh? see this one see this woman <laughs> but because of the kind of person i have me see there's something i've understood I've come to understand. I've come to love my body. Nobody can make me feel small. I've had a situation whereby because I felt I was fat, I started, you know, I started doing some nonsense and dieting. That it came to a point that I was diagnosed of um, anorexia. Like it was not funny. I used to be robust and beautiful and all that, but there were some people that would say yeah, you are fat you are fat you are fat until i started no nonsense diet and i had anorexia i was just losing weight like somebody that was like this became like this anybody that saw me they would be like wow they will call my dad or call my mom are you sure your dad doesn't have hiv so that's worse as that hmm. and it took me years to recover from it i'm not joking so then i realized that it is more expensive to add weight than to lose weight those who that were saying you are fat you are fat they're like ah what happened to you i love the former stature now what happened no 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 this is not i was like oh so you love my former stature but you never told me in fact you made me feel bad you made me feel feel uncomfortable in my own skin because i was chubby and now if i look back at those um pictures i was beautiful i had a lovely shape i wasn't fat <laughs> so people so people can say trash so i've come to to love my body i've come to realize that some people feel they don't feel good about themselves so they hate it when other people feel good so they will try as much as possible to you know to transfer that negativity into your life so i've come to realize that and i nobody can make me feel bad so our words do not have any effect on me because i know i'm fine i know i'm beautiful i know i have a lovely stature in fact my husband used to tell me that if i was slim my bit that he might have not been attracted to me so he likes me chubby he likes the fact that i'm i'm chubby i'm a hair so nobody can make me feel so your words there are some people that i used to have a friend too back in school 
this lady was so obsessed with losing weight that she would eat her dinner by 2, 2, 2 p.m. Yes, and she would not eat any other thing. She was so obsessed. She, she felt all the tragedies she was facing in her life is as a result of being fat. As she called it, because she was not even fat. I would tell her, you are beautiful the way you are. You are. She doesn't want to yell. Because so many people were telling her she's fat. She felt her boyfriend left her because she was fat. She felt this because she was fat. Everything that is happening, any bad thing that is happening in her life is because she's fat. Imagine that you now come to such a person. She's already feeling down. She's already feeling insecure. She's already feeling... Now come to her and say, Ah, why are you so fat? If it's me time, she might, she might arm herself. So, be very conscious of what you say to people. If you can't elevate people, if you can't make people feel good, keep quiet. You don't have to talk. You've seen a friend for a long time. Ah, why are you so fat? Ah, are you going to leave? No. You don't do that. Oh, you don't. You should elevate people with your words. Your words should be elevating. Elevative. Ele or whatever. Your words should be able should be able to elevate other people. Your words should be able to make people feel confident. Your words should be able to you might not give people money, but the things you say to them is worth more than gold. How how you've impacted their life positively is worth more than gold. See any impact you have on people, whether negative or positive, people don't forget. So you might have forgotten, but people don't forget. Like the people that have been so bad to me in the past, though I've forgotten all their distance, but I do. If I see them, I will still remember. I'll recall those events, those, those um incidents. So, my dear, I never intended for this video to be this long. I tried, but I think it should be long. I think it's already long, guys. Any relationship you find yourself, try to be useful. Mm -hmm, that's the word. Be useful. Don't just be a pest. Don't be a leech. You understand? You are looking for a rich friend that I can just be collecting from, you're collecting money from, borrow good from, borrow this one from, collect this one from, show that she's your friend. How are you impacting that your rich friend? Even if she's giving you everything, how are you impacting her life? Can she do without you? You should always have an impact on people's life. You always are, it is rich friend you are looking for to borrow money from, to collect money from. That is even if they give you most rich people these days. Oh, they give their fellow rich people money. They will not even give you unless you meet a kind person. So what are we saying? So be an impact. Impact people's life. People don't forget. Do you understand? I hope this video as I hope you've been able to learn one or two things from this video. I hope this video has been able to impact your life positively. So guys, thank you for watching. I love you. Expect be expecting a video from me, one video every week for now. I don't want to promise too much, so I don't fail. You understand? Just expect a video from me every week for now until that ah, consistency spirits eat me well well, and I'll be giving you like two two videos every week. But for now, expect a video from me every week. It might be any day of the week. So guys, thank you for watching. If you watched this video so far and you are yet to subscribe, hmm, hmm, I don't know what you are waiting for. I've seen lovely content like this. You have not subscribed. Subscribe eh, and be blessed. Thank you. I love you. Bye.